It wasn't really explicit in the film. Mm -hmm. It was implicit. Um, he never said, I'm gay, but you understood perfectly that he was gay uh, by references to uh, Martin, whose picture was on the right. mantelpiece. That was all kept in the series. And we did 44 shows, 22 a year for two years. And in every single one of those shows, it was implicit, never explicit. But it was always there. And I don't know what they're talking about. Mm. Well, what were the cha creative challenges then in, in there was a subtlety involved then, of, uh, clearly because of the times as well, not ready for it. Do you believe that again, Everyone knew. That, again, that TV was not ready for a more overt expression? It wasn't a show about homosexuality. Mm -hmm. um, today, when they're overt, as in the case of this show that was just canceled, what was the name of it? Ellen. Ellen. Mm -hmm. They're only so because of its lurid sensation value. Mm. They build ratings with that. Mm -hmm. They're trying to out lurid each other. Didn't help, did it? No, no, ca no advertising campaign ever worked as well as that. Pictures on the cover of Time and Newsweek, everything, and it lasted in one season. It's over. Well, this show, uh, Love Sydney, was a totally different animal. No question about it. It was about a it was family about a unit. Girl. Yes, it's about people gathering around, forming a, 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 family. a family unit. Yes. Now we were attacked by um, the moral majority. We were attacked by the right wing. We were attacked by the Lubavitcher Jews. And we were attacked by the gay advocate. Because you weren't far enough? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And what, what Love, Sydney was about was this man's need for a family. And they said that's a, not an honest picture of homosexuality. Not every homosexual wants a family. I don't believe that. I believe everybody wants a family. 